Hey guys, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video, but this really isn't a how-to video as much as it is a informational video about an awesome new feature that I found out about just last night during a live stream. Farming Simulator 22 has a dynamic HUD. So let me explain it a little bit. I'm up here in the northwest corner of the map. This was the corner of the map that I said is going to be my farm back when we saw preview pictures of Elm Creek. And I was expanding this field from what it's normally normal size. And then I decided, you know what, let's let's merge these two fields because they were both harvested or mulched. And then I plan on merging this field once it is harvested. And then we'll have kind of one field, two fields three, and then I'm going to merge these four. That's what we're going to have. All right, so end of the backstory. Let's take a look at the PDA. So here we sit looking at the new PDA, and you may notice a few things. This road is not there anymore. This field is much larger than it was initially. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. There, that is the original field size. And now that is the new field size. And here we are taking a look at the crop area where we don't have any crop growth. Now, you may say to yourself, well, it's because of this, you know, the, the crop layer. You're seeing the, the field work layer. All right, let's go to the lands. Now we are not seeing anything. We're looking at the land screen. Actually, we're looking at the hired helper screen here. But anyway, let's look at the lands area. Typically, when you look at the lands area, you see the PDA as it exists raw, unchanged, regardless of if you've merged fields or anything. But here, we are clearly seeing a larger field, and we are seeing that these two fields have combined, and that this road is now gone. Same with the new active workers screen. The active workers screen is going to be showing us here what the PDA looks like right now. So what we see here are basically a field layer superimposed on top of the PDA. So what it is showing us is we have now a new layer, in essence, a dynamic PDA from the standpoint of field size when we do a create fields or merge fields. Now let me go and jump to a couple of little segments that I've pre-recorded. One showing us this field untouched as it is base game. Same with over here, showing these two fields separated by a road as it exists in the base game. And then I will show you the after, basically this shot and that shot. I'll show you the before PDA, the after PDA. And then we're going to draw in right here. We're going to draw in any road between these two fields that we've merged. And what we're going to see is that line that shows the field being split by road is going to come back. Before. After. Before. After. Before. After. All right, so let's go ahead and go into build mode. But before we do that, once again, here we have fields four and five. We see where the road was, but now the field layer is showing us a combined field. Build mode. Landscaping. Painting. And we're going to go ahead and just put down this good old, good old, well, we'll put down gravel. Let's get oriented here. So we are straight. We'll make ourselves a circle. Make it a little bit larger. And point A to point B. J. 
Just like that. It'll make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. Now we have gravel between our two fields again. We need to give the PDA just a few moments to update. It is not instantaneous. And let's see what we have. We can see that layer now underneath the field layer. We can see the road that was there is now re-exposed. So if we come in here with our plow and do create fields again and plow this right back up, that line will be gone. The field layer will be updated and it will once again show a combined field. So this, in my opinion, is really cool. I really like this new feature. The way I found it was I was expanding this field during the live stream, and I noticed down in the minimap an outline of the field that I was creating was brown on the minimap, and the interior of the area that I was creating a new field on was still showing a little bit of green on the minimap down there. And I was like, what? What is going on? So when I looked at here... I could see this brown outline of the field that I made because I went around here with a cultivator once or twice just to get a nice line. And then I came through here and I filled it in. And I could see as I was filling it in, this color was being replaced or overwrote with this, this brown color. So... Yeah, that is a really cool feature. In theory, if we merged fields four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine into one big field, all of these little lines that are showing between the fields would vanish and we would just have one big lump of brown. So that is completely new. Farming Simulator 22. We've always had the ability in merging fields if we're at the crop layer or if we are looking at, let's say, the need plowing need fertilizing, growth state, we would always see, you know, the new field. But if we went to the lands area, we would see the old, the old shape. And now going to the hired active workers screen, we would see the old, or we didn't have this screen in 17 or 19. But at any rate, I think you get my point. Hope this was useful. Hope it was helpful. Hope you are as super excited as I am about this new feature because when I shut it off, some folks had commented that in the past they had hesitated to merge fields because it never really showed the new field on the PDA or on the minimap, but now it is definitely doing that. This is one of the coolest unannounced features of Farming Simulator 22. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you know of some other cool unannounced features that you have found during your gameplay of Farming Simulator 22, let me know down in the comments. Maybe other people would be interested to know what other cool things might be out there that giants, well, fail to tell us about. And until next time, happy farming.